Hi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use and set up the TAC CRH700 with AirPlay. So let's turn the unit on and get started. Across the front of the unit, there's the jog dial. This is used across all inputs and functions. Power on off, headphone socket, an auxiliary two jack input, USB socket, a single source button that allows you to cycle through all of the sources connected. Then we have the AM FM mode, track forward, track back, and normal transport commands for the CD player and the volume control. Then on the back of the unit, you have your power socket, FM and AM aerial, an auxiliary input and output, an Ethernet hard wire connection, a phono turntable input with a ground stud so you can actually plug in your record player, a subwoofer out and your normal left and right speakers out and then finally a wireless antenna so it can sit on your network. And then you'll have the option to either wirelessly or hardwired stream media and internet radio stations. So the first thing we need to do is to actually connect using an ethernet cable to the network. Now if you tend to run hardwired then that's all you need to do, it's all done. But if you actually intend to run wireless then we actually need to set the TAC unit up so it can actually sit on the wireless network and have access to the internet and also your PC or Mac. So here I've logged into my Netgear wireless router and I'm looking at the attached devices and as you can see it's actually found the TAC CRH700. Now depending on your network and the particular router you're using this can take something from as little as 60 seconds up to 5 minutes for it to actually find the device. Now it's found the device we now know its IP address or internet protocol address and then from there we can go to our web browser I'm using Safari here type this IP address in which will give us access to the setup of the CRH700 now if we type in the IP address we now come to the web browser page which is actually inside the 700 unit and here it will actually give you lots of information about the status of the actual unit as it is right now but now we're going to go and press profile configuration this takes us to another page where we can rename the actual TAC unit itself. And I'm just going to make an adjustment here on the actual name. And then I'm going to apply those differences. And it will actually save that internally on the CRH700. And then now I'm going to actually set up the wireless side of the unit. So I first need to actually select my wireless network. So I'm going to scroll down, find the correct network, and then I'm going to actually enter the password for my wireless network here in the red box. Once I've entered the password correctly, all I then need to do is to uh, press the apply button at the bottom of the page, and then these settings will actually be saved internally to the CRH700 and you can disconnect the hardwired lead and now it's ready to run wirelessly. If you get a message similar to this actually come up on the screen there's no need to worry this has happened because there's two connection points using the same IP address so all you need to do is as I said before disconnect the actual hard cable and then turn the unit off and turn it back on again and it'll be ready to go. By pressing the tuner button on the handset it allows us to scroll through the actual internet features. So here I'm selecting the internet radio giving it a few moments to actually connect. Now we've got a list. Now on the remote control using the up, down, left and right and enter we can cycle through the particular options and now I'm actually searching for the UK so it will actually give me a list of the radio stations available from within the UK the actual list available is very very extensive through a lot of the countries of Europe and the rest of the world 
and I'm just speeding this particular clip up just to save time. Now I found the particular country I want, I can press enter, I found the BBC folder for ease of use, and then I'm just going to select a Radio 1, press OK, and now I'm listening to Radio 1 live wirelessly via the internet. It's as simple as that. Now I'm actually going to play something directly from a hard drive which is sitting on network using the media player input on the TIAC and it's just connecting and it's actually found now my Western Digital My World book which is sitting on my network also it will find DLNA certified products so if that's a PC or if you've got a DLNA app built into your Mac it will actually find those as well and then it's just a simple way of navigating through the folders to actually play the content as I said previously, navigating through all the folders is very easy to do. All you need to use is the up, down, left, right and enter button on the remote control. And this will actually take you anywhere you need to go within the folder structure. So here I've just found my music on the drive and I'm just going through and selecting a particular track to play. And there we go. It's now playing. It's an MP3, no problem at all. And the counter's running and the music's playing. The CRH700 has fully built in, ready to go airplay. I've got my iPad here, I'm using this just so it's easier to see. I've selected a piece of music and it's now playing and the airplay mode is really, really simple. In the top right hand corner, you'll see the airplay logo. Press the button, it will see the TIAC CRH700 and you just press the button so the tick moves down to the TIAC. A couple of moments later the actual signal will be streamed from the iPad or iPhone or iPod across to your CRH700. It's that simple. Well I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.